In this video, I do a review and tutorial of Videoblocks, a stock footage site with video clips, backgrounds, and some other cool stuff. Coming up. Hey, what's up guys? Sean here with Think Media TV. Help you go further, faster in media. And on this channel, that's what it's all about. Helping you with tech, video, software, and in this case, stock footage for your video project. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And hey, at any point during the video, check out show notes and a summary of this episode in the YouTube description below. Let's get into the video. So this video is actually brought to you by Videoblocks. And when we connected, I was super excited because I've actually wanted to work on a creative project in a series for a while now. And I'm gonna be sharing a little bit more of that later in this video. So what exactly is Videoblocks? Well, it is a website that has three categories of video content that you can use in your projects. It has stock footage, it has motion backgrounds, and then it also has After Effects projects that you can use for logos and intros and things like that. In fact, let's jump in to my screen to check out an overview of the site. Okay, so we are here on the homepage of Videoblocks, and here you can get access to your footage, your backgrounds, and your After Effects. And so, of course, your footage is like stock footage, and what's cool about the site is you can kind of see it's sort of small there. You can just hover over and click and get a little preview of what um, the video is gonna look like. You can uh, check out these different clips, different time lapses and, and cool things that you could be incorporated into your um, project. So under footage, right, that's gonna be like your stock footage. And so anything that is related to video clips, you know, time lapses, things like that. And then when you, uh, if you have a video box membership, you get everything that is included with this little um, members only infinity thing right here. So all of these different clips come with that. And then the other thing that they have incorporated is they have a marketplace where you also can get discounts on other stock footage. Um, that's really cool as well. And so the project that I recently did that I really especially wanted to share in social, and so this is my Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash Sean thinks this, um, you know, take time to rest video. This was all created with this um, members only content that is, you know, free content included with no additional charge to your video blocks membership. So that's your stock footage. Then you have backgrounds. And backgrounds are like motion graphics. So I see these types of graphics a lot on different, you know, potentially tech channels or any kind of channel that wants to then put text over top of here and maybe put a picture over top of here and use clips like this in their content. And then, yeah, when you come to this page, and this is true for all the clips, you can download HDMOV files or MP4 files. It tells you the frames per second and all the details about the file itself. You can get a comp, a free comp download to see if it's going to work inside of your project. And so this is going to be your backgrounds section of the site. Pretty cool. And then in After Effects, and this is where I feel like it really gets awesome with some of the potential of what you can do. These are After Effects projects that you can put your logo in. So in a basic way, and actually I'm just listening to on the headphones, but I can hear there's a little audio that comes with this clip. And so that could be your logo. You throw that into After Effects, it's a template, and then now you've got you know something that you can return to again and again for your uh, YouTube channel or for your videos or for clients or for whoever, you know, whatever kind of projects you are working on. So definitely depending on what kind of work you're doing, um, what kind of videos you're putting out or client work or video production, click around on the video block site a little bit to check out um, some of the cool options and uh, After Effects templates, stock footage, as well as backgrounds. And if you want to check out video blocks for yourself, you can actually get complete access for free for seven days. So I'll post a link in the description or you can just go to videoblocks.com slash YouTube. So one of the cool things that makes your video blocks unique is that once you get a month or a year really subscription, you have access to all of the member clips on the site. A lot of stock sites, you pay like per clip and honestly, it is pretty expensive. HD clips and even 4K clips add up really, really fast if you've worked on projects like these. And I've actually been doing video production for almost 15 years now. And so I wanted to talk through just a couple practical ideas of who I think 
um, video blocks is uh, you know a good resource for, as well as what scenarios it's relevant in. Number one is creative projects for the stock footage. And so I'll link up the project that I recently did on the YouTube card and I'll throw it in the description. And this could be like, inspirational type voiceover type clips. And this is relevant in all types of industries. You know, personal uh, development, self-help, there's like motivational clips where you have voiceovers over it. Definitely in like the faith-based space where they do a lot of inspirational type of videos. And so a lot of different scenarios with creative videos. Another scenario would be YouTube videos. And if you are a vlogger or something, maybe you use setting shots. There's a lot of aerial shots on video blocks. And so if, you go on there and you find that you got the right clips, you know, maybe it can be the intro or the opener and you can use it to sort of tell the story with those stock footage clips. And then of course, lastly, is sometimes supplemental. If you're working with any kind of video project, you can use, you know, stock footage for so many different things. So one of the best things to do is to get your creative idea and then really look through their library to see where you could combine and make something pretty awesome. The second area is the backgrounds. And these are like the motion backgrounds. You'll see these a lot in like tech channels. They're also called bumpers or sometimes, you know, motion backgrounds. And they're like, you know, sometimes kind of tech looking. And I've noticed this, a lot of tech YouTubers will use these as a background and they'll put text over it or they'll put images and kind of shrink it down. So there's a whole library of those that you can use, especially if that fits your vibe. That's also actually really big in the faith-based communities. They'll use it to put lyrics over. They use it in like pro presenter and things like that. And so that's pretty cool. You have the unlimited access to a whole bunch of really motion backgrounds. And then the third area is the After Effects projects. Now these are really cool because you can open these projects in After Effects, add your logo, your text, and do custom intros, transitions, or outros for your YouTube videos or any videos online or offline. And this is something that I recommend a lot, that people you know, set a brand and a consistent brand, a consistent opener for their YouTube channel. So to have access to those and to be able to create those custom for your channel is a huge, huge value. Now, one thing that I'll link up to in the description below is the license terms of video blocks, which is, pretty incredible and basically it's this, that so long as you integrate your content into something new, basically, you can then distribute that and share that anywhere you want. And so what you can't do is download a stock clip of New York and then re-upload that exact stock clip of New York because you haven't changed it, but you can include that clip in one of your own unique works. And it kind of outlines that in the description below. But what's pretty astounding is, again, in this space, this stuff can add up really quickly. Buying, you know, After Effects intros and getting stock footage and so on and so forth. So that kind of brings us to like the investment to get access to all this content inside of video blocks. So I'll link up info in the description about testing out video blocks, which is really cool. But one month is $79. You can do six months for 89, or you can actually do a year for 149 and so that's access to all of the member content all of the member clips when you sign up for one of those packages so if you just thought you needed one project you get to sign up for one month grab everything that you need use it for that project and the license term says that if you you know downloaded that content during your licensing term, you can then use it perpetually after that, you know, when you use it in the right way. Or you can sign up for that annual membership and then when you need backgrounds or you wanna make a new intro or you wanna do a new creative project, then you of course have access to that. And they also just added a new um, premium membership as well and you can get into uh, 4K content that way as well as some cool downloading options and some things like that. So I'll link all that up in the description below. Okay, so I mentioned I'm working on a series and doing some new creative video projects and that's why I was so excited about this collab with Video Blocks. And so I'm gonna cut to this clip and if you wanna watch the whole thing, um, I will link up to that as well. Uh, but basically what it is is it's Video Blocks clips and I kind of had a narrative that I wanted to tell. So then I did my voiceover with a USB mic and I mixed in um, some audio and some sound effects and so, Check this out. Are we too busy? It seems like the culture is shouting, do more, get more, sleep less, and go faster. Overwhelm, noise, anxiety. Is this healthy? Maybe we need to slow down. 
and calm down. And take a second to breathe. To be grateful. And to trust the process. All right, so as far as my final thoughts, I think that Video Blocks is a great, great resource. I'm excited to do more content like that video I just showed you, some stuff for video influencers, Think Media TV, Sean Thinks, and to be able to have a resource in that library that we can pull from. You know, I think that uh, the big question is, what are your goals online? What kind of content do you want to create? What kind of creativity do you want to put out there? And this might be a great resource, you know, to get stock footage uh, in the, the world that we live in today, by the time you download one to three clips it is about how much the yearly membership is for video blocks. So if it's the right thing, it is a great, great resource to check out. Question of the day, what kind of videos do you make? Basic YouTube videos, motion graphics, 3D, do you do client work? I would love to hear from you in the comment section below. And remember that some of the coolest people in the world are part of the Think Media TV community. So definitely connect with everybody in the comment section. So thanks so much for checking out this video. Definitely subscribe for more videos just like this. And if you haven't downloaded the Think Media TV Video Gear Buyer's Guide, it's actually a guide where I go through with the best cameras, lighting, tripods for any budget so that you can make awesome online videos. So I'll link that up in the description below as well as on the YouTube card. Until next time, Think Media TV is helping you go further, faster in media. Keep crushing it and we will talk soon. Doop. Espresso. Clean. Clean desk. Clean deskin. Clandestine. What?